Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave. Today we're going to start our playthrough of Western Front Ace, The Great War in the Air, 1916 to 1918 from Compass Games, game designed by Gregory Smith and Ian Cooper. Okay, well, we're going to walk through this because this random setup is quite detailed, I found out. So what we're going to do is, we're going to start here, and we're going to roll a d20. we got to determine our nationality and see exactly um, what country we're flying for to begin with. So we'll start here. It'll be hard for you to see from way up there, but I'll try to do my best here. I'll roll a d20. Ooh, and we got a 20. And a 20 is Austrian. Okay, so we're going to start as an Austrian. So that's going to be interesting because that puts us into um, that puts us into a limited number of aircraft that we're going to fly and fight against here in Austria-Hungary. Okay, so that's where we're going to start at. So I'm going to have to change out my combat board here too because this was set up for the western front but we're not going to be on the western front today we are instead going to be on the austria hungary okay so we'll get that one out and we'll get our austria hungary board i'll put it right here and I think the, or I think we'll put it up here in the ace card right here for the setup. Okay, so we did that. So now we have to roll for the, what year we're going to be um, flying in. We'll put our combat draw deck there, trying to get things set up. There's the weather. We don't know our current location yet. Okay, so going to see what year we're going to start in. So this takes a 30-sided, three 10-sided, or the 20 and the 10, and we add them together. All right, so this is going to tell us when we start. And we have a 16, and a 7 makes 23. So 23 is July 1917. Right. So in this case, July... 1917 is when we're going to start. All right. So now we're going to roll. I've got to find my uh, central powers. Here they are. And for the Austrians, we got to roll across here. And we're at July 1917, number 23. Where are you at? Right here. So we come across. And he can have any squadron here and above, uh, depending on what he rolls. So now we roll a D6. We're going to roll the black one. And we get, oh, we get a six. So, July 1917. Come across. On six, we have 55 um, yod, which is the hunting, and 42 yod. And 42 is an elite squadron. But I think. We'll take, and then we get any aircraft here also, I think. I'm going to check that. But it looks like here, 55 or 42. Okay. And so for us, that's the Italian front. We're going to be either at Trentino or Isonzo. That's my two choices. I think we'll take the Isonzo um, border and fight Trieste will be our our home area. And I don't think there's anything we can roll about that. If I take 55, squadron 55, Yod. Okay, so I think that's what we'll do. Um... So my base is going to be Trieste, and I don't think there's anything else to roll for that. That's just the base we're going to be at. All right, and we're going to get an Albatross D3, which is good. Okay. So 
we need a Albatross D3, and this is the Hungarian Austrian because they don't have the white border around them. So that's my plane. So I now have my plane. This space we're going to save for the enemy fighters when we fight against them. I'll need to find the uh, albatross in here. And I have my albatross D3 counter. Now they say to put it in the hangar, but I'm just going to leave him down here because I'm going to use current positions. So my current position is Trieste. And then over here I'm going to have current location in the hangar and current endurance. He has not taken off yet. Okay. So I do need to find my base. Um... And for me, the enemy is at Udine, Udine or Udine. So we'll put him, his opposing base goes right there. And I need to locate Trieste. That's Trento. Thought I had it on the first pit. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Our home base is Trieste, at least our current base. Okay, so we have our base is Trieste. And our aircraft is an Albatross D3. All right. And we need a pilot name. Italian, Belgian, looking for my German pilot names. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're going to roll Austrian, Hungarian pilot names. So we roll two D6s. The black guy is the 10 digit. We get 52. So 52, his name is Kurt. And his second name, his uh, surname is 14. Brumowski. Kurt Brumowski. Okay, that's my pilot. Okay, Kurt. Brumowski. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're starting in July 1917, but I'm going to tell you, um, the sheet's different from the other ones that we had in uh, Interceptor Ace, and I'll show you why here in just a minute. Okay, so for the Germans... Don't think there's any difference with the Germans and the Austro-Hungarians. These are his ranks. So he's going to be Leutnant. That's Germany. Just checking here. Let me look and see what I can find for the ranks here. Okay, in the Austrian-Hungary, he is a Leutnant. That's his starting rank, Leutnant. And Leutnant, right there. So I'll we'll write that down. He starts as Leutnant. Okay, we're going to have to find his good luck charm. And uh, let's see, what else? He gets reflexes and air combat maneuver. So I don't know whether to put him here or put him here. You can put them in both places, but this is probably the better one because this is the board I'll be working off of the most. So I'm going to try it there with reflexes and air, air advanced maneuver. One, or air combat maneuver. 
think it's all the same. Okay. Two, three, four. He gets air combat maneuver. So maybe I should put him over here on the pilot card right there. And reflexes. Okay. And if he uses them, I can flip them over here to show which ones he used. All right. I got to find his good luck charm. He gets a wingman, but he doesn't have a wingman yet. So we put him down here. Sorry, I should have been showing you this. I put him on the absent on this Playing card, the Albatross D3. There's his current base, his opposing base. There's his rank. He has air combat maneuver and he has reflexes. Reflexes. This is the weather marker. We have a current location here. We have a current location here and we have his endurance here. I need to find, let's see, here's his ammo. He gets six, so he gets three of these markers right here. And I'll have to find his good luck marker. And we need to roll to taking the flight training. Okay, so I've shuffled the deck. Oops, dropped my cards. No. Oh. Okay, so I shuffled the deck, but we'll give them a quick once over right here, just for honesty's sake. And then let's cut it thin to win. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, first first skill. He's trying to get the gunnery training. We flip three cards in the two FP column. If it's four, five, or DE, he gets a bonus there. So he gets a four. Yay! I don't have to flip anymore because he earned it right there. Okay, so that's one card. And he gets a gain on his gunnery skill. Alright, so I need to locate that marker. Okay, his good luck charm is the Du Mooswein Okay, he gets one of those. And we just earned the training for gunnery so his first gunnery skill is a minus one all right now we have to do flight training we roll 2d6 we need a 9 to 12. oh we got an eight he just missed okay nothing there that's too bad and landing training we got to roll three times on chart b7 at the plus two modifier. So here we go. Chart B7, plus two modifier. And we don't want a rough landing. Here we go, three times. Nine plus two is an 11, that's safe. Eight plus two is 10, that's safe. And six plus two. So he gets the landing skill. So we give him the landing skill there. So he's a good pilot. He did good in his um, weapon skill. Now, the last part of this is we can choose one of these spare time activities, but me being me, I like to randomize. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll see what this pilot did on his off time here at school. He got a five. And a five is extra carousing, so he earns one level, one prestige point. Okay, so he starts with a prestige point, and he starts with a prestige point. Okay, so that helps him. He can get a better plane at some point, too, maybe. All right. Okay. And congratulations, you gained, you graduated flight school, you get a one in your experience point box. Right. So we now have our first experience point. Put that on there. Very good. Okay. So Kurt Bromowski, Austria, Hungary, and he's on the Italian front in July of 1917 <clears throat> in an Albatross D3. 
and from there we'll find out what planes he'll be available to use. Okay, it's been the experience point if we want, so we should have a list here, but I think in the book it probably gives us one uh, for our um, experience points, skills, precision, pilot only, observer only, pilot observer sparing and accurate with his burst so much so that when he fires and flips an even numbered card he does not expend an ammo counter. That's nice. Ah, uh, leadership. This pilot gets a minus two dice roll modifier to promotion. Mm. Landing, I've already got that. Reflexes, I've already got that. Advanced maneuver. Free. Allows a cube, and this is number one. Oh, so that is. Advanced maneuver number one. So I'm going to put that there. That's my Cuban 8. So I can use that. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Weapons maintenance. How's the player to ignore the first only jammed weapon result? Mechanically inclined. Okay. Do I want to spin this for that precision? He is accurate with his burst, so much so that when he fires and flips an even numbered card, he does not expand. I like that. So we're going to do that. We're going to buy precision. We're going to put that on him right there. And that takes away my experience point. All right. I'm going to lay that over here because we'll be needing it. I believe we're all set up and ready for a mission start. At the start of each month, place remove the MGOs. Okay, so major ground offensive. In July, this would be the third EPRES. So that's the major ground offensive going on. I don't think in Italy they even have that. That's just for the Western Front, I do believe. Yeah, I don't even see a place for that here, so I don't think we even have to worry about a major ground offensive. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we can see what's next. Roll 1d6 for the number of contact patrols at the start of each month. Okay, this is where I'm going to show you something. I'm not sure um, how they actually meant this. Roll on chart A1 for your mission. So the first one is a 5. So this month is going to be 5 patrols. Okay, current sorties is going to be... Now, they set this up and it looks like you get 2 per month. And then you have aircraft targets. Fatigue notes. So this would be all your aircraft that you're fighting against on each sortie. But I would go one, two, three, four, five, and that would be the end of this month. Okay, so I think, honestly, I think that's the way we do it on this sheet. You may end up having to design something different, or I'll check Board Game Geek later, but that's the way I'm going to go with this one. So we're going to have five sorties. This is going to be July 1917. So I'm started there like that. We'll see how this works out. Okay. All right. Now we go to chart A1. So bear with me because I got to find all these charts first time I'm playing with them. Chart A1, B4, S1, S1, pilot names, pilot names, I don't need pilot names, hopefully. Over here, this is the B charts. So, pilot names, and location generator. Oh, 
You know what? Look at here. For the uh, location generator Italian front. Oh, this is so you can determine um, exactly where it happened at. If you want to, the sector in which you are fighting. So I would roll along here with uh, three D6, and it would give me a um, number, and that's where the action happened. And then I can even roll for direct distance and direction from that location. Okay, A3, 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 B1, A3, A1, here we go. A1, this is Central Powered Missions, it's 1917, so we're going to roll 2d6. And our first mission is 7. And the 7 is a line patrol with three asterisks. Indicates a ground attack mission in no man's land instead of the listed mission if a major ground offensive marker is present. Okay, it's not. So this will be a line patrol. Okay. So we have a marker, line patrol, and that's our current mission, goes right there. So we now have a mission, line patrol. Okay. And yes, I'm looking up. <laughs> line patrol here hang on just a minute all right so for the line patrol we have to fly to no man's land okay so that's our mission now we take off move to takeoff box move endurance marker to take off and then we roll the encounter um, in the takeoff box okay so here we go we're going to put our plane right here in the takeoff landing box and our current endurance in the takeoff box so we're on our first mission i do not have a wingman because i am the wingman okay the leutnant brumowski is now in the air okay and i gotta find my chart for encounters a3 British and French, British, French, Allied. Okay, here we go to German fighters. So we're at uh, friendly lines because we're still friendly lines, no man lands, enemy lines, friendly lines. So we're on the fri friendly lines. Germans. So A3 encounter chart allied. Okay, I gotta check this out. Okay, so the first one we do is roll for an encounter here. So it is friendly lines, and we roll, and really it doesn't matter which side of these you're using because they are the same. It's the same results. So it doesn't matter which side you're using. We're going to roll 2d6, and we see if we have an encounter. And I think I'll bring my dice tower here. Maybe you'll be able to see the dice rolls. All right, we got a 5. And a 5, we got a fighter with 2 stars. Okay, what's that mean? A double asterisk means no encounter in Italy. No encounter in Italy. Okay. So now we move. So we're going to move up one box. We're going to move into friendly territory. We use up an endurance. And now we roll again. We're still in friendly lines. And we're going to roll. And we get a 7. And a 7 is no encounter. So now we're going to move to no man's land. We're going to be over no man's land. So here we're going to roll. All right. We get a nine. 
Okay, a nine in no man's land, nothing. Okay, I'm going to took off, moved. Yeah, so I didn't move this one. Okay, we're going to loiter over no man's land. This is my best chance of finding something to attack. And we roll the encounter. A seven, nothing. So I'm going to loiter another box. I still have time. See if we can get anything. An eight. Hey, hey, we got a fighter. All right. We loitered and a fighter showed up. Okay, now check my cards here. Move one box, roll, chart A3, design curve, counter card, go to three. We got an encounter. Roll for enemy aircraft on A3, A, B, C, D, or E as appropriate. Okay. In this case, it is A3E and it's Italian fighters. So we roll two dice. And they get a five. And a five is the Hanrio, but you notice it says 817 and we're in July. So those haven't arrived yet, so we re-roll. And we get a seven. And a seven is a spad seven. Okay. So now I'm going to have to move the dice tower over and put the spad seven here. And for the Italians, you can see where their little Spad 7 is. Spad 7. So here's his counter, Spad 7. We'll place him right here. Right now we start head on. So we've now ran into an uh, airplane. And now we're going to do combat. So we're going to see how this is going to work. We're going to get our first combat here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Counter to Halberstadt. Now he checks the chart B1 for starting orientation. Okay. So here we come. B1. We got to roll starting orientation. And I don't have any modifiers for this. So, I'm going to roll. Let's see if I can get you where you can see it. And we get a 5. And a 5. Player starts advantaged. Okay, I caught him down here. Alright, so now, come down here and we turn him to the side. So I am now advantaged onto the... Italian spad. All right. Okay. Let's see what we do then. A hey, roll four. Let's see. Okay, I'm following the uh, playthrough in the in the book because it happened to be the same thing. He started advantaged. Um, he faces sideways. He places three ammo counters on the Halberstadt D2. So I have to give this guy ammo to keep track of his ammo. So we give him one, two, and three. So the Spad will have ammo also. So when he fires, he could run out of ammo. So we mark the Spad with his ammo right there. Okay, I've got my ammo. He's got his ammo. We'll keep track of his damage here, my damage here. All right. Okay. So we know that the Italian guy is going defensive because he's disadvantaged. So my firepower forward is five. So I'm going to fire with five. Oh, he's destroyed. But he did defense. And his defense... Bad move, I would have improved by one, so I destroyed him. I got a lucky, I got a critical hit, shot him down. <laughs> okay, so contact number, this is my contact sorting, and this was a bad seven, spa seven, and circle him because I shot him down. All right. 
in this context sort of was a line patrol. So this is a line patrol. All right, so he's gone. Shot him down. All right, we'll just leave him out in case we draw another one. Now, I think what I'm going to do is go home because when I use one ammo right there. Okay, oh, I got a big kill right off the bat. Woo, first kill. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to move back. Puts us back in friendly territory. We use one endurance, and now we roll for an encounter again. This could get an encounter on the way home. We're in friendly lines. Right here. Here we go, friendly lines. We get a eight. Eight is nothing. So we're going to move back. We're over our airfield. So we're back over to the takeoff landing box. We have one left, and now we roll for an encounter. A four. Nothing. Okay. So we're home, and now we land. I have the landing skill. I have no damage. He does. He's two to 12. He lands fine. That's the end of that mission. We gain one fatigue. And we got our first kill. Okay. That's one kill. Okay. Right. A successful mission. All right. Now we land. We go to chart B9. Oh, I got to roll for landing weather. That could change everything. Let's do this. B9 is landing weather. We roll 1d10 for this one. And it is a 3. It is good weather, so no problem there. I do land okay. All right. So we landed. All right. We're down. So check for awards. See what happened here. We get one pilot fatigue, so I marked that down. Um, it takes, you have to get up to 6 to 11 to even start to have an effect. All right. And let's see. Oh, I could do, um, I look really like this one. Credit for victories over enemy lines. Uh, when you shoot down an enemy plane over enemy territory, you must roll. Well, we're not. We're in no man's land. Over no man's land, a roll of two to six means your claim is verified. Well, let's check it. And we get a four. All right. One of my other uh, pilots saw it. And they were... I'm happy about it. Okay. All right. So there is a... Um, campaign scenarios, major ground... I guess there is an Italian ground offensive, but it doesn't start until October. Okay. So we don't have to do anything with that. All right. Let's find our... Awards, see if we gain anything here for the Austrian Hungary Cross, Austrian Hungary Wind Medal, no silver medal for bravery. This is awarded to pilots after their second victory, not there yet. Three victories in a single mission, nope. Make ace, nope. Go down two enemy aircraft in a single sortie, nope. On their 30th victory. Okay, no medals. All right, but I got my first kill, and it was confirmed. Yay! So we're back at the hangar. Our endurance did not run out. Okay, we got our first kill. <laughs> All right, so I know it took a little time, but I'm hopefully you guys see how to do all the random setup, and... And we got our first kill. So that was sortie number one. We got to do two, three, four, five. So that'll get us to there. We're not going to have any trouble here with our um, aircraft. So we're good there. 
All right. I think that's going to make this video because it was kind of long because of all the... I had to start and stop a couple times because I kept doing stuff wrong, but we finally got it right. We did our first patrol. Uh, we ran it. We stayed out over there. I think everything went fine. I got a lucky shot and killed him, and I love that. Um, so... I did not gain any. You have to have four missions to gain the experience point. Let's see. Over here, does it? Does he have a place to record kills? Nope. We have prestige points. Um, that's too bad. On the other, on his uh, latest um, interceptor race board, he actually gave you a spot where you could keep count of your kills too. That was kind of nice, but that's okay. We, we got them right here. We keep track of them by circling them. Okay, so I had one aircraft target and we killed it. All right. Okay, that's the end of the first mission. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, please give me a thumbs up and leave any comments that you might have. And I'll see you guys for the next playthrough. Everybody have a good one.